My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on me, a humble servant. Let it be to me according to your word. Mary speaks, and her prayer remains fervent. For in her womb is the Son of God, conceived by the Holy Spirit. Her praise to the Most High resounds amidst the night false chill in a strange but close land. Her body with piercing aches, discomfort abounds. Beside Mary stands her betrothed, Joseph, son of David. He marvels at the significance of their arrival from Nazareth to the city of his lineage called Bethlehem, coinciding with the time for the virgin to give birth. They walk on tired feet, searching for a place to rest, a place in which they can breathe, a sanctuary for them to catch their breath. From inn to inn they travel, hoping to hear words of welcome, only to be turned away at each turn. The night passes, fires burn, people stay inside, hands warm. But Mary, Joseph, and her coming child are left without a stay in the company of the inn. They search and search until there is no place more to search. And in an act of desperation, in anticipation of a holy birth, they are led to the stable. To a place not fit for human lives, yet in this place, the life that will change all humanity for the world. Their bodies weak, their hearts full, knowing soon will be the moment of his birth. Their souls are brimming with joyfully divine mirth. Mary bears the curse of her ancestors, that in pain she brings forth a child. She lays within the creature's habitat, enveloped by the stench of their feed and manure. And in a labor of love, in a moment of pain, on the backdrop of the cold, lonely night, the holy child is born. Jesus Christ is born, and by the cries of her firstborn, Mary, the mother of God, is beguiled. Joseph stands in awe, amazed by the spectacle he sees, yet at the same time, he's seeing in mystery. Could it be this child is who he seems to be? But why him, and why this way? What about me deems that I am worthy? And what about her says that she is destined to be a holy mother? This moment confounds all reason and rhyme. Yet in this manger is the greatest moment of all time. Our Savior, wrapped in swaddling cloths, Christ the Lord, laid in a manger, Jesus. 